So, greetings everyone. As you can see, today we are having another AMA session. And this project, which we are going to talk about today, is not a stranger to you. We are going to talk about UDAO project, which we have brought you around March. They had a very successful pre-sale IDO on Pools Finance, and we have shared it with you. And right now, the project is doing great. And it's no surprise, really, because they are based on Zuri, Crypto Volley. So if you're not familiar with the project, let me give you some background information. Then I will introduce you to a gentleman right be beside me. So Udao, as you know, is a Web3 platform. They are big on AI technologies, and they are based on Zuri. Udao bridges the skill development with the job market and focuses on making everyone relevant in the era of AI. So the education is one of the key words when it comes to Udao. The project is about to launch very soon and comes from Switzerland, actually. One of the most advanced regulation in the crypto space, as you know, comes from Zurich, Switzerland. So it is a really good thing that they are based here, but I'm sure my host also will tell you more about it. So, UDAO is regulated under Swiss laws and has one of the highest safeguards in token buyers. This is why Switzerland can be seen as the capital of crypto, as we can also call it Crypto Valley. So, today, here with me, we have Selim, the CEO of the project. And thank you, first of all, for joining this AMA and answering the questions from the community. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you want to add to UDAO? Did I miss anything? No, I think this is a great introduction. So I'm really excited about the question that you are asking me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, we will start with the questions. Uh, but personally, I need to say, when I first saw the UDAO, when I first made a video about it, I was also quite excited about UDAO. I think the idea of bringing education uh, together with AI technologies and together with crypto is not only a very novel idea, but it is also some of the most brilliant ideas I've seen in crypto. Because now we have a lack of education in crypto and AI technology integration can make it significantly better. And I thought that Udao's idea was very good and I'm really excited to speak with you here as well. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start with the first question. So. Can you tell us more about the main purpose of UDAO? So I know a little bit, but I think uh, the community will want to hear it from you. What is the main purpose of UDAO and why it is important to society in general? Okay, yeah. So I want to start by uh, asking the audience the questions. So you can ask yourself, what did you study and how relevant is that for you today in your daily work? You know, I studied physics mm -hmm. and to sit here in front of you, I need to reskill and upskill myself many times. And this will be true for 1 billion people because um, we will have so many skills that will be out of date or mm -hmm. automated by AI within the next three to five years. So they speak about, this is the World Economic Forum. They speak about having that we will have 1 billion people who need to reskill until 2030. And just as a fun fact, I have three little children, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot to do as CEO and having three little yeah. children. And uh, out of statistic, two of them will do a job that does not exist today. So how can I prepare them for the unknown? We need new solutions to reskill faster and more efficient. Traditional education can keep up with this. We have even today. So. Um, I heard of a study in, in, in the U.S., 50% of the graduates from the U.S. are claiming that they don't have the skills they need to be competitive in the job market. And this is all about Udall. You want to help the society to be relevant in the era of fast technological advancement. And I bring you one more story. So, um, you know, I, I just said I studied physics. Mm -hmm. This is already yeah, 15 years ago. Something yeah, it must like be this. hard, by the way. <laughs> and um, so 10 years ago, I wanted to reskill myself the first time. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be a machine learning engineer. At this time, AI was a buzzword, buzzword. so uh, not as it is today. And what, what did I, what, what have I done? To reskill, I applied for a certificate of advanced studies 
waited a half year until the, uh, the certificate of uh, advanced study started at ETH mm -hmm. Zurich. And then it took me another 1.5 years. So in total, I had two years. And looking back, if I, I would coach myself, I could have done that in three months. The only thing that I, I missed was a coach that was asking me, hey, what is your career goal? Where do you want to go? Tell me what your skill you have. And then I tell you your skill gap and help you to find your personalized learning plan. Oh, yeah. And this is how we want to help all the people um, around here with Udao. So Udao, in just one sentence, it's a Web3 platform for learning job relevant skills and finding the next career step. We bring together learners, educators, and organization. It's all about putting the right person with the right skills to the right place. And I think now you understand why this topic is so relevant and important. And finally, I want to say um, skills are one of the most important goods that anyone has. Yeah. Somebody can take away your money, but nobody can take away your skills. Yeah, that's a very, very valid point. And I like the idea that you brought up that technology evolves so fast that we are losing track of what skills are relevant. I think that's quite important. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. So we have a huge technological advancement today with uh, even the last few months, there were so many new tools about AI, about, about uh, that uh, is here more efficient, this tool you can use. So people need to upskill, to reskill, to stay relevant. This is a valid uh, topic that we have. Yeah, and you said the best way to learn new skills is by personalization, personalized training programs. Absolutely. So uh, Absolutely. now that we're talking about AI and personalized training programs, uh, let, can I ask you how exactly Udao works? So they are combining skills development with recruiting plat platform, which is quite innovative. So you're combining AI, personalized training, and also recruiting. Tell me how it works exactly. Yeah, so Udao brings together two proven markets. Mm -hmm. We bring together the education technology market mm -hmm. with the online recruiting market. So learning with finding a new job. And uh, there is a learning marketplace for the learning experience mm -hmm. and the job marketplace for finding the job. So you can say, um, to make it very easy, Udao is like Coursera means LinkedIn on blockchain. Mm -hmm. So learner learns the relevant skills that organization needs. And the educator, or let's say instructors, help them with, with the right learnings and coaching resources. So let's now dig into, into the uh, learning marketplace. So when, when it comes to the learning marketplace, the main actors are the educator and the learner. Mm -hmm. And the educator comes up with the learning, the online learning, uh, online classrooms, coachings, and so on uh, that the learners need. Here we have a great partner, we have Udemy, where we can already leverage more than 300,000 learnings. Um, but uh, Udemy is like one educator on the Udao platform. There are many. Mm -hmm. And as a learner, you improve your skills according to your career goal, career's goal. So this is where we focus. Um, maybe you want to be a project manager, you want to be a social media uh, expert, you want to be a Web3 uh, engineer. Tell me what your goal is. Uh, tell me what your skills are. We tell you exactly your skill gap. We assess your skill. And here we leverage AI to be faster and more effective in reskilling and upskilling, as, is, as you uh, already said, mm -hmm. with personalized learning experience, personalized learning paths. So no matter what your background or career goal is, Udo will be here to help you with the skills that make you relevant. This is the learning marketplace. So this is mm -hmm. one element. Okay. Now to the second, to the to the job marketplace. Mm -hmm. The main actors are the learners, or let's let's call them also like talents. Here are the talents um, and the organizations. And um, as talents, you wanna you want to find. In the end, why are you learning something? Uh, there there the might be many reasons, but one very valid reason is you want to move on in your career. You want to find your next career step, or even you want to find a new job. And you want to get found by your organization who searches exactly your skills. And what's about the organization? So uh, they want to find the right skilled people because when you look at the facts, 87% of the organization don't find the right skilled people. So it's all about finding them 
quite faster. And here we leverage also AI services, especially AI recruiting services. And this is why we, let's uh, call it the second partner, uh, the second big player partner is IBM. And we work together with IBM's um, AI suite, uh, Watson X for matching open job posts with UDAO talent pools and helping it, and having an AI that helps the organization to shortlist and pre-qualify, mm -hmm. pre-assess the applicants. To, um, to summarize it somehow um, uh, and to make it short, UDAO is a skills economy platform where skills are valued and let's say not only degrees and UDAO helps everyone to be relevant for the economy no matter how old you are, where you came from, or whether you have parents that can pay for your organization, it's for everyone. We want to give equal opportunity to skills development and job access. In the end, this is a bit a deeper dive about UDAO. I hope you got a bit mm -hmm. uh, the mechanics of UDAO now. Yeah, yeah I understand clearly. Uh, first of which, this uh, personalized learning combined with recruitment is a big thing because one of the main reasons, as you have said, you're trying to get a job, you're trying to get a career. But if you don't learn the right skills in the right place for the right thing, well, it, it doesn't mean really anything. And Yuda combines it together, makes it easy for everyone to be accessible. And I think that's very good. It's the one of the first highlights that I saw uh, of Yudao and I liked it uh, in the first sight. But uh, there are more things to this. You're, you're still a company and you are working with different partners. Uh, you said Udemy, IBM, but also there are different learning platforms. So how you compare with your competitors? So what are the main differentiating points in terms of Udao? Hmm, good point. So one point is that we have, it's like Udao is one touch point. It brings together education with finding a job. As you just said, uh, that's also what you like, what you said, what mm -hmm. you like. And so this means we can make a learning demand driven, not supply driven. And this is very important because we have so many organizations that don't find the right skilled people, but we have so many people that are losing the, their job. So somehow mm -hmm. it doesn't work. And this is because supply and demand does not fit. We, may, we need to make uh, learning demand driven. So the people need to learn what the job market is really asking. Um, this is, this is, let's say, um, this is how we can bring together organizations, learners and so on, and how we can solve the global skill gap crisis in the end. Exactly. So this is one differentiator. So we bring in together that on one touch point and uh, making it uh, demand driven. Now mm -hmm. let's let's go a bit deeper. So what are the differentiations for, for the learner? For the learner, one differentiation is that we focus on your career goal. Mm -hmm. We try to understand what is your skill gap and give you a personalized development plan that guides you because these are those are crucial elements to be faster in the mm -hmm. end. So to, uh, this gives the ones who really want to improve their lives the chance to do so very fast. Everyone should have this opportunity. So this is those are the main differentiator for mm -hmm. the learner, focusing re really um, make it really focused and uh, make it really fast. Now let's come to the to the to the instructor, the educator. Mm -hmm. He give ownership. We give ownership to them about their learnings. So if you have a new learning. This is intangible. You, you, uh, it's an intangible mm -hmm. asset. We assetize it. We tokenize it. This is how we use the NFT. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it is a real value that is created and it's real value that is there with e-learning. And even let's, let's think about that the, uh, the instructor is an organization, for example. Mm -hmm. They can even, if, if they have tokenized it, they can bring even that to the balance sheet because it's, it's, a, it's of value. So it's an asset, exactly. This is one a very important differentiator and organization love that when we uh, tell them um, this aspect. Then another aspect for, for the instructor is that we give them higher income. And this is, how can we do that? We can do that because we bring together those two markets mm -hmm. and we have in both markets, let's say income uh, that fuels the business model. This is why we can give uh, the lion's share of the revenue to the instructor. So because they do the learning, they should get the highest amount of the revenue when, when people are buying this, uh, this um, 
uh, this learning. Mm -hmm. And we bring here a game changer when it comes to how much we give to the instructor. And uh, the third point, uh, the third differentiation point for the instructor is that we also work with digital avatar GPTs. In the end, today you can you can share your e-learning to one million people, but can you really um, answer one million questions a day individual? No, you can't. Uh, but this is possible with AI technology mm -hmm. today. This is uh, this is also one differentiation point for the instructor. Um, now let's come to to the to the last um, main actor to the to the organization and um, so what are we doing here different? We're matching the skills of their job positions with the skills of the talents on New DAO. and also here we leverage um, top-notch AI services for the organization that they can evaluate and assess the applicants quite fast. And New DAO focus on verified skills. On, on skills assessment, on, on, on your CV or on your LinkedIn account, mm -hmm. you can say that you have all the kind of, of, of skills and uh, no, nobody can really check. You, mm -hmm. you, uh, you can check it on the interview, but this takes time for the organization. So the organization needs to be sure before that they understand, okay, this candidate really brings the skills mm -hmm. that we need in the end. This is how we bring efficiency to the organization. And I want to mention also a differentiation point from a philosophical level. So we value the community. We value the community that brings in the value. And we want to share the success of the Udall platform with the community. So think about what's the value of LinkedIn? What's the value of, of Instagram? It belongs to Meta, yeah, and LinkedIn to, to Microsoft. But uh, what's the value of it? What's the value of it? If there aren't a user, the value would be zero. So, and the user today just get uh, the platform use case, but they do not participate. And I think we should enter a time where the community that makes the platform big should participate big. Exactly. Yeah. And this is also a main differentiator where we focus on as UDAO. Well, uh, that's also a thing. So, uh, first of all, for the learners, it's personalized. For instructors, they are getting mm. the biggest share. And for community, they are also being incentivized. They are not just uh, uh, part of the platform, but they are active in the platform. And this is exactly. a really great thing. And actually, that is uh, linked to my next question. How about the system of Udo? How it works? How the business model works of Udo? Because you said you share big sums with the instructors and you also incentivize the community. So how is the business model? Can you tell me more about this um, sustainable financial model of Udo? Okay, yeah, uh, of course. So in the end, the, the Udo has like two main revenue stream of the Udo platform itself. Mm -hmm. Um, so there is a B2C revenue stream and the B2B revenue stream. Mm -hmm. You know, B2C, B2C. Um, the B2C revenue stream is mainly in the education side between the learner and the educator. So there is a small fee. Small fee is the reason why we give the lion's share to the mm -hmm. educator because it's a small fee for all the kind of e-learnings, for the, for the coachings, for the uh, online classrooms, for whatever learning uh, services is, is mm -hmm. provided. And this is only a small fee uh, we take uh, from here at, um, and the B2, B2C revenue stream. And um, just to give you some numbers, the ad tech market is very big. It had in 2021 or 22, I'm not sure which, which year, it was $315 billion turnover in one year. And it's expected to grow more than 20%. And when you calculate it, and according to the experts, in 27, it will exceed $1 trillion a year turnover in this market. So you see the huge size yeah. of education technology is fundamentally fueled by uh, by COVID and by all this uh, technological advancement that we have and that people need to reskill yeah. and traditional education can keep up with. That's why this market is really uh, about to grow a lot. And this is, uh, this is where we are in with the B2C revenue stream. Now let's come to the B2B. Uh, revenue stream. This is about um, the recru recruiting side, mm -hmm. um, and we have here service for the organization. So for 
doing job posts, for doing AI recruiting services. And also this market is uh, quite big, not that big, but it's also quite big, more than 100 billion turnover uh, in dollar uh, a year. And also this is growing very fast. So um, it's important to say that Udao does not only rely on hype, it relies on a real business model that fuels the Udao token. And this was very important to us. That's why we call it to have a sustainable model. Mm -hmm. So we have a sustainable model of, um, of the Udao platform that constantly um, generates value mm -hmm. for the Udao uh, and for, for uh, that fuels the Udao token. And um, I think this is also the future of Web3. So the project in, in future, I, I think the Web3 project need to have a real business model behind mm -hmm. that works long term and that does not only rely on hype. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, as you said, education mar market is growing and it has already been big for quite some time. And with the combination of AI, with the combination of technology and Web3, uh, it has the potential to grow even bigger because it brings the solution to your feet and you are being incentivized. You are getting the value out of it now. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, your financial model is also very robust. Also, if you're curious about uh, Udao's financial system, you can go ahead and check their website. But uh, now that you're here, I will ask you about it. How about the Udao token? What kind of utility it has and how can you use Udao token? Yeah, so this is, uh, I'm glad that you asked this question. So um, maybe first, when it comes to the token uh, and to the Udao platform, the whole Udao platform works also without having a UDAO token. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is a utility and you can pay with the UDAO token, mm -hmm. um, but uh, you can pay with any kind of money and with different kinds of uh, cryptocurrencies. And this is very important because we want to be maximum inclusive. Mm -hmm. Maximum inclusive to be attractive to all the Web2 people that is still the majority mm -hmm. uh, before adapting them to Web3. So this is just maybe before I go uh, deeper into the token, just also to, to put in the frame about uh, that uh, on Udao when you pay, mm -hmm. you can pay of course with Udao token, but it works without any kind of uh, uh, Udao really token. Good. That's a really good and solution for especially beginners of the platform. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And this is also the reason because we want to convert them. Everyone mm -hmm. is talking about mass adoption, mass adoption, but mm -hmm. how can we do them? Uh, how can we do yeah. that? In the end, it, our way, what we do is people come to our platform. Mm -hmm. It's a web platform. Maybe they don't know it at the beginning and then they start. They see they have value. They have value and they see, OK, there is something more. Mm -hmm. I can. There's a Udao token behind. And what is that? Uh, how can I benefit? What, what are the benefits in having it? And if we bring something real to them, this is how we can convert them um, in another way, let's say. And uh, now, let's say when it comes to the token, uh, also for, for everyone out there, everyone should ask when, when you see a Web3 project, OK, why do you use the token and why does the token have value? So those are very important uh, questions, I would say, and I, I, I'm here to also answer that. So let's now focus on why, why the UDAO token has value. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, let's also structure it in three aspects. So the, the first aspect, why it has ownership is, uh, it, why it has um, value is, it gives ownership to the people who have the, the, the UDAO token, supervision rights, DAO, it's a DAO governance, you know, you mm -hmm. DAO, <laughs> yeah, UDAO, yeah. exactly. So it's a DAO governance. So you can compare it with, with having a share of a company or having a passport. This, this belongs in this, uh, this role. But I think you, you all know that. Um, and the second pillar is the benefits. The benefits uh, that we give when you have a UDAO token. And the benefits are uh, we give special access to, or we give access to special features, like for example, just as an example, if you are an organization and you have mm -hmm. a certain amount of tokens that you can stake, uh, you get some services at a cheaper rate or even for free, you can do for a free, free shop posting. And we have a lineup for all the different participants that if they have the token, that they have such kind of special features, access to special features. And this is great because you can somehow measure that Having the token 
uh, in a direct metric with having a financial benefit. And this gives also like why it has value in the end. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the second pillar. Then the third pillar is we, we, it's all about sharing success, what we said, and uh, about rewarding the people, rewarding the people that bring in value. So we have uh, first in, in the, when it comes to reward, the contribute to earn mechanism, it, it somehow is obvious what it means. So we reward every contribution that people make. So if people make something or bring value to the, to the, to the platform, uh, they get rewarded for that, financially rewarded. Hmm. And um, the one that I'm the most proud of is we talk about the token link growth reserve. This is the money that is generated within you now is used to back the token with real money. And you have seen before when I said um, that those are really big markets we are uh, conquering in the end. And when I talk about that, we are backing the token with real money. We somehow go back into the year 1970 when US dollar was linked to gold. After mm. that, it wasn't backed anymore by, by, by gold or by any real asset. And we go back because uh, I would say also this is even a nice evolution step in Web3. It's, and, and this is also uh, really, let's say, the concrete answer why it's not only about hype, it's about mm. a real business and real benefit that we, uh, that we deliver with real value and real money in the end. So this is to answer why the UDAO token has value. Now, okay, yeah, it, uh, I understand. And, and why do we use it or how do we use it? So um, the UDAO token combines those utilities that, that I just explained. And though this wouldn't be possible to do in a proper way without blockchain. So um, the UDAO token can be used as a medium of exchange, as a governance tool, mm -hmm. uh, and this is a key component for rewards and, and, and benefits, let's say. And um, in the end, with the UDAO token, we can incentivize all the participants with mm -hmm. no friction, incentivize for growth, for fueling the business model. Just an example. Hey, if you find your next job on UDAO, claim your next 20 UDAO token, because it's anyway financed by the organization. And this is, the, what are the side effects of that? The side effect is we are sharing success. We are sharing success um, if somebody engages with the platform, if somebody gives value in the platform. So in short, UDAO platform uh, is designed for, uh, for the community that mm -hmm. brings in the value and uh, can, benef can financially benefit from it. So I would say um, we support a bottom-up economy where everyone can participate and gain value, not only a few. Mm -hmm. This is this is about the token. This is about um, how the token works, why it has value, and why we are using it in the end. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really great that uh, Web3 brings so much innovation and uh, it is for the positive. Uh, I mean, it's for the benefit of the users. I mean, I don't understand how the users see the benefits of blockchain and they're staying away from it. One of the reasons is hype. But you say Udao is also backed by the real value of the real assets. And also Absolutely. it has a sustainable ecosystem that is always keeping it up. Uh, and I think these are very important for a platform. Of course, personalized education, of course, uh, governance and everything uh, is very important. But also this aspect can also bring people to the platform. And having said that, I also want to talk about the traction of Udao. Is the platform already live? And uh, how about the regulations? How many users? Uh, just the general information about the traction. Yeah, perfect. So, okay. Um, let's say um, we have across all channels at the moment, at this stage, about 100,000 followers, mm -hmm. you know, media and so on. And yeah, at this stage, I would say a big thank you to all, a big thank to all the followers and your valuable input, uh, because you already have so much in giving feedback and coming up with great ideas. So thank you. If, um, if you're not following us now, so that might be the right moment to do so. <laughs> and uh, to answer also your question, uh, yes, the platform is live. Uh, we have a learning and job marketplace ready. We don't have that many, let's say, resources right now. This will come. We also have just about uh, 2,000 registrations on the platform. Mm -hmm. because we didn't talk yet about it. Um, we want to focus on that later on in one or two months, let's say. So the focus now is on the launch. 
and um, and the uh, and the listing of of, of the token. Mm -hmm. um, some words about the partner. We have, as I said, IBM as our technology mm -hmm. partner, yeah. and it's important to say. Many may say, "Yeah, those are our partners. Those are our partners." But it's IBM is a real partner. We are not client of IBM. We are partners. So we are mm -hmm. doing together uh, mm -hmm. uh, with, with the research, um, um, let's say, of IBM in in Rüschlikon also, um, how to set up these AI services in a mm -hmm. proper way for 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 the organization. And they have a revenue share um, uh, on, on UDAO, on, on exactly on the AI yeah. services. So, and this was important because in the end, they are also incentivized in selling UDAO. And IBM has a huge partner ecosystem. IBM is a very big company. For those who don't know, I think they have about 250,000 employees around the world. Uh, one of the biggest brands also within the world. And um, this is IBM about our partner. Another great partner that I already also mentioned is, is uh, Udemy as our learning partner. And um, one that I also want to mention that, uh, that I didn't mention so far is our brand ambassador, Haluk Levent. And Haluk Levent is a great man because he shares the same value as we do. And we have really long-term projects in the back that are planned with him. And yeah, he's one of the greatest men I've ever met. And for those who don't know Haluk Levent, he has about, he's very famous in Turkey. He has about more, more than 9 million followers on mm -hmm. Twitter and almost 5 million followers on, uh, on Instagram. And was, he's also in Turkey the, since seven years, the most tr trusted person. People love him. And that, that's something that we can leverage. We don't, didn't leverage mm -hmm. that much so far. Uh, but we have real great long-term um, ideas work, working with him and are in great uh, relationship with him. And so those are just, let's say, three uh, names and partners I want to mention mm -hmm. because we have many more, but those are, let's say, the most important one. And when it comes to regulation, to summarize that, we, we operate in Switzerland, as you said, in the introduction, and we are fully... Uh, legal and compliant with the Swiss law. And for those who don't know, this is a very great success factor because uh, we are on the safe side when it comes to legal, legal topics yes. and regulation topics. It's regulated here. We are not somewhere where the reg regulations are, set, uh, are setting up and uh, it might be uh, punishing you or something. It's Everything is clear. And we are in close and continuous uh, contact with the financial regulator here in Switzerland. We, we talk about here about one we have one of the highest safeguards when it comes also to mm -hmm. to investors and with the udao token we are tied to the swiss financial system we are regulated by by the by one of the world's leading regulator the <coughs> finma and in the end this is also why the crypto valley emerged mm -hmm. because it had regulations already since 2018 and uh, I would say this is one of two of the biggest reasons why we have the crypto value because the regulations have been yeah. set up very early and they were fintech friendly, but also with high safeguards for the investors. And the second aspect is that we have a very trusted um, um, regulation when it comes to the foundations. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the top 10 crypto projects, many of them, um, are, are um, let's say, governed by a foundation in Switzerland, in Zug especially, because it's a very trustworthy setup how it, how it is done. You, don't, can, uh, you cannot just take the money from this foundation because it's real regulated and controlled. And if you say what you are doing, uh, there is a, um, an authority that is watching and controlling all the time that you are acting according to that. Mm -hmm. And you cannot change uh, later on. It's like uh, going in this way. This is also why it's very, um, very famous doing a foundation here in Switzerland. Yeah. The second reason why we have the Crypto Valley. Exactly. Yeah, that's really great. It is great to uh, hear that a project's foundation is very solid because that's how you grow. That's where you grow from. And uh, yeah. being in Switzerland, I think it's one of the best decisions you could ever make. And uh, now that your foundation is Switzerland and you have achieved a lot, you have big partners, your platform is already live, you have a brand ambassador, and you mentioned that you have long-term plans. Uh, 
So what are these plans? What can we expect from the roadmap? And how UDAO will do in the next years? So um, let's say today, the platform is live with basic features. Mm -hmm. And as with only a few resources, we have mm -hmm. limited learning opportunities and jobs, etc. Um, exactly. This is the state. And we continuously come up with, with add-ons. We have a huge roadmap. With, th there's so many great things you can do. And we always need, uh, need to prioritize what's most important uh, in which, uh, let's say, order. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the uh, focus now is mainly about also the UDAO token, about the listing, about the IDOs that we are going to do. And um, when it comes also to short-term or mid-term milestones, uh, we are at the moment with also with the integration with IBM, uh, the What's Next integration for the AI service. I think this will take us three to five months in total with IBM together. And um, yeah, we, we, we come up very soon also with exciting uh, features on UDAO, for example, that uh, all the skills that are linked with, with, with the learnings and with job, with the help of AI that is organizing that in the back, everything. And uh, with the skills assessment, this is also something that we are doing with IBM. The skills verification, those are all, let's say, short, mid-term um, aspects that we have on the roadmap. And now uh, when we have a look on the market development uh, regarding the roadmap, so mm -hmm. you, now it's, it's global and is focusing on all job relevant skills. Mm -hmm. And you know, to be successful, you need to go step by step. Mm -hmm. And Definitely. why we need to have focus regions and focus topics. Uh, focus regions are uh, at the moment, uh, let's say Switzerland and also Germany, because from the language mm -hmm. barrier, uh, it's quite fast and Germany and Switzerland is very connected. And uh, we have great connections here in, in, um, in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. There are other partners, for example, Digital Switzerland Foundation, they're focusing on reskilling the people for the tech area uh, era, and this is very partner with them. Uh, exactly. So we have many partnerships. That, that's why Switzerland is one focus region. Another is US, because we have mm, some contacts to the US where we mm -hmm. set up the whole, um, the whole market development in the US. You need to do that very properly, um, the US market. Uh, it, it's a great market, but you really need to plan how to do that. And we already uh, have begun with, mm -hmm. with that. Uh, yeah, we have some great connections there. And the third focus region, of course, Turkey. Alu Glevet, everyone knows him. So uh, when we leverage that, he speaks to the people. Uh, come on, join the platform. This will, this yeah, we will get so so much traction, and we are preparing uh, exactly mm -hmm. that in the back. So, um, exactly. Now, when it comes to the focus topics, so, of course, we focus on what, what's relevant. Technology aspects are relevant. IT topics, Web3, AI. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but also, let's say, something like uh, green skills. Because here in Switzerland, when it comes to... There are so many people missed regarding uh, green skills, solar panel, how to implement that, mm -hmm. and so on. We have too few people. We don't find the skills uh, uh, for that at the moment. And this is why, let's say, um, we, we, this is why we cho have chosen this, uh, this focus, focus regions and those uh, focus topics. And in the long term, we want yeah. to stand next to the global players um, in the market with, to the global, let's say, Web2 players in the market, but with a Web3 platform. We want to create a platform that can be used by Web2 people, but in the end is a Web3 platform, as I said before. And it's a great opportunity for Web2 people to experience true value, real value that we create on a Web3 uh, platform. And yeah, this is how we convert many people uh, to Web3. And to, to, so we contribute to this exactly this vision. Mm -hmm. to, sum, to summarize, um, so we are really uh, dedicated to UDAO's mission by developing a Web3 skills economy platform where, where your skills are more important than degrees, um, a platform that shares the success with the community, a platform that gives all the people equal opportunity for making them relevant and having a purposeful career. And yeah, I invite all the viewers to follow UDAO because we value you. This is where the name comes from. 
it's you mm -hmm. DAO, it's yeah. you DAO. Yeah, that's really great. That's been quite insightful, actually. Uh, you know, is an important platform. And you said, I think it is one of the key platforms transferring people from Web 2 to Web 3 because its promise is education, because its promise is incentivizing. I think it's one of the key players in terms of achieving this Web 2 to Web 3 transfer. And that's a quite big step for you, though, and Web 3 in general. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, recycling individuals, having instructors in the platform and incentivizing both instructors and the uh, learners. Uh, growing with big partners, Udo has achieved a lot and I think it's poised to achieve a lot more. Uh, sadly, we're coming to the end of this uh, AMA session. It's been a blast talking to you. Uh, it's been really insightful. You gave a lot of important details and I'm sure community will appreciate all of them. Uh, is there anything you want to add? No, so uh, thank you very much for for this interview, for having this interview at your channel. And it's my I pleasure. Also, <laughs> thank you, and also I appreciate uh, each uh, viewer, each follower of Udao. So we really committed to Udao's vision in the end and making that happen. That's really great. So uh, it's you watched uh, Selim Kangali. He is the CEO of Udao project. He's been with us with very insightful uh, details about Udao and I hope you enjoyed it and we hope to see you on the next AMA. Thank you.